Hi guys, welcome back to the teaching learning. This is Abdul Kafur. I hope you are doing good. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to share eight to nine important questions that were part of the previous test. And uh, today, something's a different. Uh, I'm going, uh, going to share one question. If any one of you are going to answer it correctly, or uh, he or she will get the 80 important uh, terms explained or 80 important questions from previous tests uh, with uh, explanations, with reference, okay? You just drop the correct answer in the comment and your email or my WhatsApp number is already given by any means of communication okay you can send it to me my whatsapp or my email okay and you will get the uh, resources for upcoming test okay so let's uh, start the lesson here we go uh, important question for 10th test okay march of the 10th test uh the ua ranked number one among Arab countries in the Pearls and Tim's 2011 assessment. Now, in previous uh, uh, exams that marked as 2012, even mock test, it was mentioned in 2012. Uh, However, the test was conducted in 2011. So sometimes there are some errors in the exam, so you have to be very careful. Another thing, uh, Dubai uh, 2000, this news was published by the KHD. For the first time ever, Dubai private schools have ranked among the top 14 in the world in mathematics, science, and reading. In the most recent cycle of program for international student assessment, exceeding the national agenda target of top 15. Uh, this is actually a game, and uh, this information is already on the KHT website. And this result shows about, you know, the PISA's uh, test 2020 2022. This is score on the website of OECD countries that marks the 46th number of the UAE that is securing the score 47. My question is why? Why these two statements are the different? So any one of you giving the correct answer will get the uh, resources for the upcoming uh, pedagogy exams. That means 10th March. So your time starts now. Uh, third thing, Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, PISA, measures the ability of 15 years old to use the reading, mathematics, science, and knowledge to meet real-life challenges. Now, second is the Pearls Assessment, in which in 2011, uh, the UA secures the sixth place internationally uh, by scoring 76 points. Uh, another thing uh, which is really important and that was part of the previous exam, halo effect. And uh, you might know about that. The halo effect is the cognitive bias when you see somebody and uh, to become a judgmental or perceive an idea about someone or someone's personality or someone's characteristic. Or it's kind of the evaluation by uh, somebody's uh, uh, physical appearance, okay? So this is an overview about the halo effect. I'll give you the example for that. Okay, uh, the one of the example of halo effect in action is our overall impression about celebrities. Okay, when you perceive them as an attraction or success, there we tend to uh, think about them that they are intelligent, they are rich, they are kind, they are funny, and they are very successful and they are very happy. So whatever you see in the children and uh, you judge uh, their uh, personality, but that's a vice versa, okay? This is what we call the cognitive bias. So cognitive bias, uh, 
as a systematic error of thinking that occurs when people are processing or interpreting information world around, okay? So this is your own perception, what actually uh, somebody is, that's quite different, uh, you know, than our perceptions. Another uh, question, this is part of your mock test as well as, you know, this was a part of the 25th June exam last year, digital ethics. So, uh, this question has been taken from students well-being and digital citizenship. So while you're on the floor, you have to look carefully if the students are using their laptop and devices uh, uh, correctly. There's a secure and uh, path and uh, there's a privacy protection. So in this case, there's a zero tolerance policy against cyberbullying and on online harassment. So you have to go for the digital ethics. And the uh, the degree of offense again it's from the vadimas law and uh, uh, child protection of uh, cyberbullying child abuse and uh, physical abuse this means okay and the last but not least programmed instruction is based on assumption that individual students uh, learn according to his own pace and need and capability Actually, the program instruction was initially uh, was a uh, origin in the earlier 20th century. And uh, there was a different theories on it, especially uh, the BFS scanners and uh, operant conditions are the examples of the program instructions. Okay, that makes the uh, customized or effective or learning based on the individual differences. Okay. In class, we have uh, 25 or sometimes, you know, more than 25 students and uh, they are uh, different in uh, learning as their, uh, you know, the learning style is different and, uh, and their thinking and cognitive abilities are the different to satisfy, uh, you know, their learning. Uh, there was some strategies to incorporate uh, in the teaching as well as in the uh, curriculum. And uh, currently in the 21st century, we consider the programmed instruction as in a 21st century skills or the technology that integrated into the curriculum. So these are the nine things I wanted to share with you. And uh, I hope uh, these will be very useful and very informative for upcoming tests. But I'll be anxiously waiting for the answer uh, that I have asked. Okay, please drop the comment and get the resources. And uh, two more things I wanted to share with you that uh, um, please, uh, what type of the video you want for upcoming test. Okay, please drop the comment that I can go for it. We have a still uh, one week and uh, oh, I want to accommodate you and uh, give you more information for that. Okay, so please drop the comment that I can go through it and upload more videos that will be very useful for you. Thank you so much. We'll be meeting the next lesson. Till then, bye.